I just read in the Washington Post, there's a lot of criticism about Israel accessing all of these photographs and videos that were confiscated from videographers, from journalists. Looks like the Israeli army had edited these videos and they're only putting out, obviously, the most inflammatory stuff that makes them look good. It looks to me like Israel is doing its own investigation and it appears that the United States is backing Israel investigating itself. It's what it appears to be. Please tell me if I'm wrong. This is the answer from the spokeswoman from the Israeli military about confiscated material, videos and such being, you know, taken away from these people, then used for the military's propaganda. Army spokeswoman Avital Leibovich said there was a certain chance the footage was filmed by journalists, but that most was filmed by activists. Well, she said no material was confiscated. Hmm. She said it was found on the vessel after activists were cleared off by the army. This is the Washington Post. We didn't confiscate any material. It was found on the vessel after activists were cleared off by the army. So the army goes through, they kill some people, they arrest everybody, take them off the ship. And they happen to notice that there's some cameras on the ground. Hmm. 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 Cameras. wonder where these came from. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll just, I don't know. If the investigation continues to go this way, Here's some of the news reports you may hear. You may hear about that one man who was shot, killed from a distance shot, the top of his head. That may likely be deemed by the Israeli army a self-inflicted gunshot wound. I don't know how, but Muslims are pretty tricky. We all know that. The uh, passengers claim that they could see laser sights. You know, as people were being shot at, they could see these laser sights dashing around the ship. Israel will determine that there was actually a meeting going on in one of the helicopters up above, a PowerPoint presentation. And everybody had their own laser pointer, and they were just pointing out some details. They did find a weapons stash, a cache of weapons on this ship. The good news is they were all attached to Israeli soldiers. Two pistols broke free, panning through all of these weapons, like a, a pipe wrench. and like, a pipe wrench, that's a deadly weapon. You know, there is another use for a pipe wrench. You know, you can actually use a pipe wrench to wrench uh, on a pipe. And broom handles, you know, um, they're, you know, obviously weapons. But, you know, you can use a broom handle as the handle of a broom. Knives, you know, I've got a knife in my pocket right now. A lot of people use knives. One of them looked kind of crazy. But to be honest, the weapons that I saw that they confiscated are less dangerous, less lethal than the weapons that you would probably find at any middle school in the inner city anywhere in America today. Were they transporting arms? Oh yeah, there are a bunch of slingshots. Now, I don't know anybody who's been killed by a slingshot. Maybe people do get killed by slingshots. I don't think that slingshots actually constitute arms in the sense that kids can buy slingshots at the department store. I'm getting very hopeless about Israel's investigation of itself and America is backing Israel investigating itself.